New York, status is everything to a certain group of people. Education, appearance, events, where you are, who you are with, does say a lot. My husband is Simon Van Kempen. We are so close. Sometimes it can seem like we're one person in two bodies, almost. I have a delivery for Jill for Beth, and it's a message. It's not a, an actual thing. It, oh, it's a statement. Just give it to Jill. Yeah. I don't she like, asked I don't like, me. No, no, no. She, no. Should, she said. I think Beth and she give it to Jill. I'm you know sorry, what? She's the she's the messenger. I'm the messenger. She's the messenger. Shoot the messenger. Well, don't know. Don't yeah, like you can shoot the messenger <laughs> onto. But I like the story that I. <laughs> Let's go with that message, Jill. This is not the message. Yes. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll get a whole message. book. Yes. Hold on. Well, with Huz. Oh. She has a message. Where's your question, Wendell? I swear to God, I feel like I'm a survivor. I have a heart attack. Survivor. <laughs> she wants to give me a message. I'm so uncomfortable getting up like and running like, away. I hadn't intended this to be a activity, but I'd started. And once it started, there was no going back. And all of a sudden, people were talking, and I was speaking, and no one was listening. I'm like breaking out. I know. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. When I get emotional, I get red. I fully admit, I fully admit that I have eyes and that I have eyes. Give me some lotion. Okay. Where's that cream? I'm thinking to myself, just say it already. Say it, Alex. I mean, just get it out. I mean, it's so hard to be with her because she doesn't communicate. She's always, like, I can see the smokestacks burning, but nothing's come out of her mouth. I just see her burning out in hives. Huge blind hives because she wants to say something that obviously isn't very nice. Can't get the words out. All right, let's hear the message. Okay, we get it. First, let's make a nice talk. Maybe you can have a little bit. Chill, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Oh, right. mm -hmm. What's the message? Right. Right. The message is. They're both being agreed. We're going to save Bruce and toast with her. That. Seven's from now. Are we ready? The message is. Uh, we need. Uh, Beth told me to tell. Uh, the message. And I'm like, say it, say it, say it. That's great. You'll need. Um. <laughs> okay. All right. The message from Bethany Jill is that you are done and never wants to see you ever again or talk to you. That's not a nice message. That's creepy. I don't like that's creepy. Okay, I'm well, down. Why would you get the hell that she said that? Yeah. That's the creepiest would she thing ever. No, I'm sorry. I'm not in the fourth grade. She might as well have thrown a drink in my face. Why, why would she say that? Delivering the message. I mean, why would she say that? Creepy. Alex, Did you ask? She's hormonal. I'm surprised at you. Wow. I couldn't have taken the message. Hormonal. I would have deleted the message. When I first heard it, my heart started to race. I was embarrassed. It was just horrible. What did Alex have to gain by delivering such a mean and horrible message to me and embarrassing and humiliating me in front of my group of girlfriends? If you want, she wants to deliver that, she has to do it for you. Anyway, we gotta go. We're getting a foot massage. Yeah. We're gonna go to we're the We're gonna get a foot massage. Yeah, get a foot massage. Right, wow. Didn't did you run it by him first? No, no, I didn't. Why not? Because it was not I for him. You. We're gonna go get our foot yeah, massage. No, we'll yeah. come back. Okay. 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 Bye, Kelly. So creepy. Wow. That was mean. Bye. Good luck. All right. I'll see you later. That was. Yeah. I, I agree. No. Was really nice. She shouldn't have. I swear. That changed the tone of the evening. Jill, they don't have anything until 8 or 8 30, but, okay. but let's I gotta go, go to the mat. Go. No, let's go to the mat. If you want to give a message, give it one on one to Jill. Don't embarrass her in front of all these people. Well, Alex broke out in two ways. She broke out early. She broke out in hives on her chest with the snooze. Oh, you got balls. Oh, you got that off. I wouldn't even have balls to say that one. Do you feel bad now that you got that off your uh, chest? I do. Actually. Do you? Okay. This forever changes whatever relationship I have or don't have with Jill. I know that. And I wouldn't have done that if I didn't know it. I was excuse being nice me, by telling me, you that her father was you talk, dead. You talk all the time. Now it's your turn to listen. Don't talk. Excuse, excuse me. Don't you ever talk to me like that. Jill Zarin. With that tone Jill, of voice. Jill, leave listen, then. No, excuse me. I have don't something to say to you. Don't you look at me and, and talk to me. Say that. Oh, well, uh, no, 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 no. Go no. ahead, all say right, it. For two years, for two years, you talk and you never she listen. I want to talk right now. It is my turn to talk. Go ahead. Great, I will. You know what? You texted me this afternoon. It was the first time I had heard from you since Ramona's party, and I didn't expect to hear from you. Uh huh. I'm gonna sit. I don't and you know stand. what? You. So my text, I was being nice and excuse sharing me. with everybody. Oh, excuse me, Jill. Excuse me, Jill. You're I'm gonna go over there. Exactly. You'll pull me into your room. I can't yes. If I can't listen, I, mean, I can't believe. So Look at this drama excuse she's me. creating at your excuse party. Me. I apologize. Okay, I've already had one excuse drama. Excuse me, Jill. Now just excuse with me, it. Jill. Perfect. You. You're so good at pretending you're nice. You're doing it right now. You're smiling. But the first text message I get from you is, oh, did you hear Bethany's father died? Yeah, I thought I was course, doing you a favor by letting everybody know because um, actually, I got it on the newswire. Can together. you stop talking for a second? I have things to say to you. I don't want to hear what you think is wrong with my children. I don't want to hear what you think is wrong with my house. I don't want to hear what you think is wrong with my husband. And you relentlessly you me? not you know what, We can't be friends because that's how I am oh, as a friend. Oh, we're not friends. Do you hear that you are not even letting me get a word in edgewise? Honestly, I don't really care. Oh, 
fine. I guess. You know what? But you haven't really said anything you, to me that's new. You are in high school. You are a mean girl and you are in high school. And while you are in high school, I am in Brooklyn trying to survive in this economy, yes. working. Excuse me, I am a working mom. I don't have girl. time. Let's just leave it at this. Oh, You're a better oh, person oh, than I am. And, and let's really just, then we, and I'm sick. sorry it makes you sick. Yeah. And I don't want to make you sick. So we just uh, won't be in the same social circle anymore. We'll just cut it. And that's okay. I don't think you get it. I, I don't really know what else. What do you want me to do? What would you like me to do? Throw myself out the window? No, of what do you course want me to not. Do? You're a wolf in sheep's clothing. I am a big bad wolf. That's right, Alex. That's how I meant it. And I am sick of that. That is an attitude that I don't want in my life. We shouldn't be in the same circle of friends. Cheers. Cheers to that. To the end of the gossip. To the end. Bye. What can I say? She's leaving. I think she's leaving. Did you wear my tattoo? I, I'm my whole sorry. Tattoo. I'm look, very look sorry at my whole about your two. I'm no, you're very, not. Yes, I am. Because you're being weird. People are not going to want to hang out with you if they're going to be weird like I this. I am not being I weird. I don't want to hang out with and you I now. You're sorry. ruining my tattoo. I am sorry about your tattoo. You're weird. It's not normal behavior. I'm sorry about your tattoo, genuinely. No, it's not about my tattoo. It's about the whole Clearly thing. Clearly, it was about your tattoo, and Listen, I'm sorry. If you know who needs you right now? Ramona. Not my tattoo. It's weird. It's just weird. What the hell are you talking about, weird. Kelly? You guys are weird. That's ridiculous. Alex McCord. I was having a, no, excuse me. I was having a genuine reaction to what I have been feeling, what I have been seeing from Luann, and what I've been seeing from Ramona. And you know what? I felt really bad today because I, you weren't I bad didn't at want the... to push. Excuse me, wait a minute. I was trying to get Jill and Ramona back together because Jill and I had a great coming back to reality moment. And I'm sorry, Cover I your shoulders. hoped. Yes, I know. We're in Marrakesh. I realized that. Thank you. Thank you. You know what? Okay. Wait, just wait. Hold on. Wait, just close your eyes. Let me finish. Close and your eyes. Let me finish and then I'll close my no, eyes. Close your eyes first. And I'll then make talk. you a deal. Let, okay, all right. Close I'll close my eyes and talk. Okay? Okay, good. I hope. Open your eyes. I had what? wait. Mm. I had hoped that Jill and Ramona would be able to come together. Okay. Okay. I also feel that Luann, everything that has been coming out of her mouth, whether it's about Ramona or to Ramona, is a dig. Mm -hmm. And yes, I've just blown up. I've just completely blown up. Okay, yeah. But I was angry. Hey, you don't need to me. Okay. But you don't listen, need to me. I'm because sorry about you're your not, tattoo. It's not, no, no, no. It's because it's, you're not angry. You're, I am you're angry. sad. You're not angry. You're sad. Both. You're sad. No, you're not angry. I can be both. both. But you're not angry right now. You're actually sad. And you're trying to create calm in a chaotic situation. But sometimes, Alex, it's better to just observe and not participate. You came after me in the house. I was sitting there having a lovely moment with the ladies. And you came in in your Herman Munster shoes. Um, they're, they're Louis Vuitton shoes, you know? Well, you know, even whatever. Louis Vuitton makes mistakes. <laughs> um, oh, wow. That is so rude. <laughs> Well, you know, you know, <laughs> just because you have this, I don't, you know. This is why I've never approached you before. This is it. Luann behaved as though she thought I had invited her to coffee to apologize, to, to prostrate myself and kiss her ring. I didn't know it was possible to be that delusional. You're getting your nose in the middle of Ramona and I's business, and it's really not a What I am discussing with you is your response to me, and that is actually yes. You my and response me. to you was it you was were ridiculous being and yeah, you rude. were being ridiculous yeah, and you, you were being were, rude. So guess what? Rude. I dismissed you. That's from not embarrassing okay. yourself further. I don't further. tolerate that type. I don't tolerate that type of behavior, Luann. Not you know from you, what, Alex? Not from anyone else. You know what, Alex? Would you like to go? I think it's probably a good idea. And you know, don't take this literally, but don't forget what happens to the messenger, okay? Get a life. I'm not sending a message to anyone except from me to you, Goodbye. my dear. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. I have nothing against Alex, but if you're gonna invite me for coffee and make a stab at trying to be my friend, at least have something valuable and make it worth my while. And this was not. 